we have already done the data entry form now it's time to program the login form because we have a one user that has been entered by us his password is also known to us and we can now start to program the login form to verify that the login occurs correctly if the user is valid then he should be taken to a new page if he is not valid a suitable message should be shown to him ok let us see how to do it before we can proceed to the actual coding we should make two provisions one is for the message that appears just below the form if the user logs in successfully then he has to be taken up to a new page also and in case he fails he should be kept on the same page and a message should be shown that uh, invalid user or password like that story so we'll begin by doing this then we'll proceed to do this this is the page that we have this is the login form that we already have this is the TBL user the model that comes to this form this is the form we also need to make this correction because this one has been wrongly typed by us user phone and uh, text box for so this has to be changed to password let us do that first outrightly we'll write password text box for x goes to x dot password x dot password but uh, this password is going to create problems for us because the type of password is byte and uh, we have already removed annotations on this password here for a string now what do we do we have to we have to collect the password as a string because that is the only option with us password has to be captured as a string and not as a byte this is not possible for us without complicating the code so we need this password to be corrected we want to capture password as a string so that when it comes into our action method we can use it in whatever way we want but at least here it should be coming as a string now the issue is that this is our model generated by the EDM it has only three properties and uh, we want a shadow property like a dummy property for password so we'll have to add one dummy property to this file if you see this one this is the inner class that we wrote here we can add a dummy property to the partial class tbl user somewhere here this this property exists on our partial class tbl user and its annotation will have to be reflected in the inner class somewhere here this property will help us capture the password as a string and then once the string is available inside our model inside our action method we can then read that string convert into byte or do whatever we want to do with it so let us do this that we add a dummy property to this partial class 